The video will start in 8 cancel with his big blue eyes and innocent smile. The star of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory made the perfect Charlie Bucket. But it was to be the only part that the young American actor Peter Ostrom never played. Peter, now 60, spoke to the Mirror in 2013 about how his life went straight back to normal after the 1971 movie, and he never acted again. Now he lives a quiet life with his family in New York State working as a vet specializing in large animals. The married dad of two said, back then when the film came out there was no red carpet premiere. He continued, I was in my hometown in Ohio and they had an opening there, and I was the only one there. There was a little bit of fanfare, but not much and the film died a quiet death. It had lukewarm reviews and people forgot about it. It wasn't until video 10 years later that it resurfaced and it took on a life of its own. More than 40 years ago Peter was on his own as he took time out from his studies for the five months of filming in Germany. Peter said, I get calls every time there's a new version of this story or some fresh look at the film. You can't kill Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It keeps resurfacing in different formats. We had no idea at the time that it would have any kind of success at all, so it's pretty neat that it is still so loved. I know my kids have read it and they liked it. Peter puts its enduring success down to the moral themes running through the story, written in 1964. I have a great affection for the story idea that if you are honest and hardworking and do the right thing, good things happen to you," he said. Peter was offered a three-film deal, but the experience of being away from home had put him off. He said, I enjoyed doing it, but I couldn't really see myself doing it for the rest of my life. How many kids carry a successful child acting career into an adult acting career? The Jodie Fosters and Ron Howards you can count on one hand. I think I just played myself in the film, in real life I am a horrible singer, and they told me that they weren't going to use my voice but they did. Acting was fine, but I wanted something more steady. The key is to find something you love doing, and that's what I got.